Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a video on my Mina Bay Kinney backpack um, that I use as my diaper bag. And I'm gonna be doing a review on it and showing you what I typically pack in my backpack for a day outing with Bodhi. So the reason why I originally wanted the Mina Bay Kinney backpack as my diaper bag um, is because first of all, I think it's a really pretty backpack, but it also doesn't really look like a traditional diaper bag. And I'm excited to use it when I reach the point of parenthood where I no longer need to carry a diaper bag around for my kids. There's a laptop sleeve inside of it and you could use this for work or just an everyday backpack, which I thought was really cool um, that there's many different uses for this backpack. So now we'll dive into the diaper bag and I'll show you what I usually bring for Bodhi when we go on a day outing to the park or the grocery store or somewhere um, for a few hours. Once I empty out the whole diaper bag, I'll show you the interior of it and all the pockets and everything and all the features because it'll be way easier to see at that point. So the first thing I've got in my diaper bag is a pack of diapers. So this is just like a Pampers bag. Like I said in my last video, my newborn must-haves, we just have always used Pampers. We've tried other brands and Bodie's leaked through them and different babies do best with different diapers, but for us it's Pampers. So I usually bring about six or seven diapers uh, for Bodie in here. And it's just a Pampers bag that I received uh, with a box of Pampers that I bought at some point that came with a free bag. Um, here is a light swaddle um, and I'll go into the Kinney backpack is the smallest of the Mina Bay full size diaper bags. So you can't, you can fit a lot in here. You can't fit everything. So uh, I'll go into that too. And if it's worth it or not, sorry, there's kids playing outside if you hear little kids screaming, but um, this is a light swaddle um so and this is just has many purposes um it's a big one so i can put it down like if we're at the park on the grass um or just to cover Bodhi if it's a little bit windy out um i've also <laughs> shoved it in the window of our car um when it's too sunny and the sun's in his eyes there's so many uses for this but i just always like to have some sort of swaddle or little blanket with me for him um this is a wet bag oh man this is so helpful for if his clothes get wet or muddy if we're at the park um when he was little if he spit up on anything this was great to you know put his dirty clothes in here um just to go straight to the laundry um and i'll link everything in my diaper bag below for you guys and there's so many different wet bags out there but this one's nice because it has a mesh section in front that's completely um, separate from the wet bag portion and this is machine washable. Um, so no matter what happens to his clothes or his socks or his bibs or anything that we need to keep separate from the rest of the diaper bag um, so it doesn't get dirty, uh, this is super useful for that reason. Um, then I always make sure to have a change of clothes for Bodhi, at least one. It kind of depends on how long we're going to be out and it depends on kind of the activity. If I'm taking him somewhere at night where he may, you know, I may be putting him in his pack and play. Like if I go over to like a friend's house or my parents' house or something, then I would usually just pack like onesie footy pajamas. This is pretend we're going out to a park or a museum or something for a day outing I would all I would bring at least one extra pair of like pants or leggings for him and one extra shirt and right here I have packed a short sleeve shirt and a long sleeve shirt um, and I typically try to um, pack clothes that are different warmths so that if I guess wrong on the temperature outside and what Bodhi would be comfortable in that I have a different option for him. So if I put him in long sleeves and it's like actually super hot in the sun that I can put him in a short sleeve shirt. So I always just pack more than I need probably uh, just in case. And then right now it's kind of cold out um, in Southern California. It's in the fifties. Well, it's cold out for Southern California, but um, so I have a hat in here and then I'm just assuming that I would have the jacket on him when I take him out. So it's not in the diaper bag right now, but always have a hat um, if it's cold. And then uh, on that note, in a front pocket, I've also got an extra pair of socks um, just in case his get dirty. And I want to put him in another pair of socks for warmth. Um, 
The next thing I have in here, I always try to bring a few small toys. Um, if we're going out to a restaurant um, and he gets bored, it's great to have something to entertain him. Um, and I try to bring things that are soft um, and aren't gonna do damage, like if he starts like banging them on the table or throwing them anywhere. So here's just like an example of what I currently have in here. I just have this like little soft truck. <laughs> it's not, so if he, you know, it doesn't make any noise, so it's not really that distracting, but it also is soft, so he can't really do damage. And then here, this is more what I brought with us when he was littler and was really teething. He is still teething, but not as much anymore. Um, this is a little like golf cart teether. <laughs> so this is something for him to chew on if he's bored. And then this is a little skip hop, cute little, I don't know, stuffy, but also has a teether on the bottom and just something fun for him to play around with if he's bored at a restaurant or in the car or anywhere. Um, and then this, I packed this diaper bag to show you guys what I was bringing up until he turned a year old um, because now he's off of formula um, and he drinks whole milk. So things are a little different now and I typically just bring water and snacks for him, which I'll show you in a minute what I bring with me now for that. But this, up until he was a year old, this is what we were bringing in our diaper bag everywhere. Um, at least one bottle filled with filtered water and a formula dispenser. And this is what we brought with us when we took Bodhi out before he was one years old when he was still on formula. And I'll show you now what we bring instead of this. Um, but this was super useful. It's very small. And I talked about this in my newborn must have video, but this is for three bottles. And then I would just bring, depending on the amount of hours we were planning to be out, I would bring usually one or two bottles um, just in case he needed a bottle and was hungry while we were gone. Now what I bring in place of the formula holder and the bottle is a sippy cup for water for Bodhi and a snack cup filled with puffs or Cheerios or whatever we're giving him for a brief snack on our outing. Um, so it just kind of depends on the age of your baby and what they're currently, what their diet currently is. Um, and then the next thing, when we were giving him bottles, um, I would bring usually two burp cloths um, in case one got disgusting and I had to put it in the wet bag. Um, but definitely if you're bringing a bottle, I'd recommend bringing some burp cloths. Um, and then we start getting into the pockets of the diaper bag. So I will show you, try to show you as best as I can um, using this camera, what I have in all the pockets and then I'll give you a close up of the pockets um, later on when they're all empty. Um, so in this back pocket, which is actually a laptop sleeve. So the back of this is a, like a heavy duty laptop sleeve. So like I said, if you want to use this backpack for other reasons like work or just an everyday backpack or a travel backpack, um, it's a great one to use for that too. But in the back here, I have stuff to change Bodhi's diaper on the go. Um, if I need to, while we're out, this is the Mina Bay changing pad. Um, it fits perfectly in the diaper bag. It also is super flexible, so it fits in smaller bags, like if you're just bringing your purse with you and not a diaper bag. Um, it's like that scuba material. It's actually pretty cushy um, and is really just a great quality changing pad. Um, so I bring this. And then I always bring a pee pad with me to put over it so that I, you know, I mean, this is washable and everything, but this just makes it super easy for cleanup. Um, you really don't even need a changing pad if you bring this, but I just typically bring this in case we're gonna be doing it on like the hard ground for some reason and I want some extra cushion under his head. Um, pee pad makes cleanup easy. And then I bring this o OXO container of wipes. This is super nice. Right now I have a new pack in here, but you just click this button and it opens the um, wipes for you. And I use a smaller, um, they make, you know, the, instead of bringing a giant pack of wipes with you, they make small travel packs. So I put one of those in here and it fits perfectly. Um, so this is really nice. And then I usually bring with me uh, some sort of diaper rash cream. And then this is actually a little tube of Vaseline that we got from the hospital when Bodhi was born. I still have it in there. But, you know, I don't know if your baby's prone to diaper rashes. Bodhi really isn't. But... Uh, we keep some sort of uh, diaper rash cream in the backpack with us. Um, and then, and I'll show you this later because it's really hard to see in here, but um, we, I have a, 
pack of pacifier wipes in here. They're like made of baking soda. They're the Munchkin brand. We've used these a lot. <laughs> he loves to throw his pacifier. Um, so these are really nifty. And then in a different pocket in here, I have some boogie wipes. <laughs> um, these are so not necessary. We just happened to receive them from our doctor's office for free. So have these in here. Um, and then I do have a Johnson and Johnson first aid kit. It mostly just has band-aids and gauze, um, in here and some sterilizing wipes. Um, so this is nice to have. I actually recently read, um, something super smart about carrying Tylenol and Benadryl with you. So I'm actually right now, after I film this video, going to put some, uh, Tylenol and Benadryl in here in case we need it. But I do have a first aid kit in my diaper bag in case. Um, and then I also have, so this is completely separate. This is not from Mina Bay, but it's a little pacifier holder. Um, and I'll try to find this. I got it years ago, but I have an extra clean pacifier in case, uh, in case Bodhi throws it or we lose it. Um, or I just want a quick clean pacifier instead of cleaning off the dirty one. So I always have an extra pacifier in here. So now I'm going to show you what's in some of the zippered compartments of my diaper bag. Um, this is a dog waste bag dispenser. Um, we actually really use these when we don't have anywhere to dispose of his dirty diapers. Um, we just take a dog waste bag and put it in there, tie it up, and then it's like, it's very easy to dispose of it later. And then this is a nose bulb or syringe that I still have in here from when he was an infant um, in case he was congested and I needed to help him breathe better. Um, this was on a bunch of, uh, diaper bag checklists that I read when I was, uh, when I was pregnant. So I'll put one in there and, uh, I don't think we've ever used it, but it's in there. So now I'll show you what the inside of the Kinney backpack looks like and the different, all the different pockets it has. So inside the backpack, there's a laptop sleeve, um, which is cushioned and super nice. And then in front of it, there is a pretty large, um, zippered pouch. And then there's two elastic pouches in back. Uh, two elastic pouches in front and then two along the sides. These are the biggest over here and this is usually where I keep Bodhi's bottles or cups for water. And then in the front, let me flip this around, in the front there's a small zippered pouch um, right here and then a, an open pouch for quick, for grabbing something quick right there. But it's a pretty big diaper bag um, and fits a lot of stuff. So this bag also has a bunch of exterior pockets. There's one large exterior pocket in front. Um, each side of the bag has an insulated bottle pocket. So it has one on the other side. And then it has a zip pocket, which I actually already have open, that has the scuba material, the same material as the changing pad um, in the back. So that's super nice. This backpack also has a shoulder strap so you can wear the bag more like a purse. So here, I'll attach it. You attach it to these uh, hoops right here like this. So you can carry it like this. Um, and separately, you can get these uh, stroller hooks which are super useful. So one goes on each, uh, each side of the bag and you can tie them on your stroller, um, which is really nice. So the Kinney backpack is the perfect size for us. I've never had any issues with space. Um, I can bring everything in it that I need to from my son. Um, but if you're someone who lives in a colder climate maybe and needs to bring more layers or just wants to be able to fit bigger jackets or even blankets in addition to everything I showed you, um, you may need a bigger size backpack. The Kinney backpack is the smallest of their full size backpacks. So for someone who needs more space, you may need to size up. Um, but for us, this fits plenty um, and I absolutely love it. It's great quality. I've had it for, uh, yeah, like 18 months now um, and it's held up really well so far. So I'm loving it um, and couldn't recommend this product enough. I have the black and gold color combination. There's black and silver. There's like a beautiful, I think newer color that's like a dark brown. Um, there's a green like sage color. There's a taupe and like a sand shade. So there's tons of different options um, and they're beautiful bags and really high quality and I would definitely recommend them. So that concludes my video about my diaper bag and what I usually bring in it with me uh, when I take my son out. 
Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great weekend.